What's going on there, boys and girls? Uh, welcome to Northern Fox Bodies, the first air ride install on my Bean. You may notice I am not Alex. I am the shockingly more handsome host, Brian Gallagher. And here's what we're going to be working on today, boys. Air ride in my 97 Cobra. Stand by. All right, guys, so just a quick uh, little summary of, of the car. Like I was saying earlier, she's a 97. Um, when we picked it up, it was just dirty, like really dirty and neglected. It had been kept inside, thankfully, so the body's in pretty good shape. A little bit of surface rust on the torque boxes and a couple other places, but uh, overall, the body's really solid. So just been cleaning it up all winter, getting rid of anything that wasn't working, getting rid of the check engine light that kept popping up because everything was so damn old on it. But uh, yeah, it's turning out great. It's nice and clean. Got the S281 wing in black. Change the taillights and stuff. We'll get a good shot of the car once the air rides in and you can see it out there with the uh, altitude adjustment. So, all right, boys, see you at the next part. Okay, guys. So, like you heard in the beginning of the video from Brian, apparently the better looking one, um, more handsome, I guess. Um, we are doing an air ride install on his 97 Cobra today. Yes, it's a little off topic of the Fox body stuff, but like I've said before, we're Mustang guys and we have a few different projects on the go uh, with friends. We have the Brian's 97 Cobra, we have a 66 um, Mustang that we're doing a voodoo swap on. Um, you know, so there's gonna be some other stuff the majority will be Fox body related, but there will be some other things. And I think it's perfect to have a little bit of variety. So I'm just headed over there now. He's about 15 minutes from my place in Barrie here. So when we get there, we'll go over what's happening. And uh, yeah, should be a good time. We'll have some beers and we'll get it done. All right, guys, here at Brian's. He's got the car all jacked up, all right? There's the old shit. And then back here, we're gonna be putting a tank. He's gonna be doing some insulation and we got the goodness. Oh, we got stuff. Right over here. Some airlift. Look at this stuff. This stuff is the jam. Yeah, boy. That's real nice. So, we're gonna start getting at her and We'll see what happens. Yeah, see how far we get today. So before we jam the air tank in, we're gonna do some insulation in the back here to prevent noisy, noisy stuff. Yeah, man. So we got this stuff that I like to use from the hardware store. Same stuff I used on my floors in my car. It's great. Yep. All right, so Brian over there, he's that got his dead sound in here. We're just putting a layer for where the tank is going to go and the compressor. So just helps with the vibration and the noises and stuff like that. So that's where that is at. And then we have to get, we have that tank there and that's the box with the rest of the yeah. compressor stuff, right? Yep. Compressor. So we'll have to start to see where we want to lay everything out and then run all this stuff. So there's all this crap. We gotta get in there. So should be fun. All right guys, so we're opening up the box. Look at this fancy box, let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in this fancy box. Woo! Airlift, nice little setup, the control, remote, whatever. Oh yeah, this is fancy. Fancy, fancy. Those must be the airlines, I guess. I would imagine. Or the electrical. Airlines and electrical. Oh. Airlines and electrical. All right. It'll probably take us four hours to do airlines and electrical and 20 minutes to do trucks. So, it be pretty interesting. I don't think it's going to be that bad, to be honest with you. It looks pretty, pretty straightforward, so... I think right. you mentioned something about that in the CJ uh, Oh yeah? Video. So, because we're not air ride experts, we're gonna use the instructions. You know what I mean? <laughs> we might, but we might toss them out in a little bit. We'll see what happens. Probably. Right? They're, pr they're pretty detailed. And you know what's the most important thing about this box? Is it came with stickers. 
know what I mean? Stickers are, it makes it totally worth the $6,000 or whatever it costs. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So we got the tank. We're just getting in the middle of laying it out. I could put all the fittings. We have a filter. We got drain line in and we got a block up here. This one's for our compressor. So when you come, we'll come up here and we'll show you. We're coming into the back of the car here. So this is going to be kind of the layout. We're making a piece of wood for it right now, but we're going to put the compressor around here with this, this line. Oh, sorry. Let's zoom out a bit. So this line's going to go up here. Then we're going to mount maybe the rest of the lines here, something like this. We haven't figured out because the power comes here and the battery's on this side of the car. So that's what's happening right now. And you can see all the instructions, how everything goes. So that's what we're, we're working on right now. And uh, they're just out there, if you can hear it, they're cutting the piece of plywood so we can mount everything too. And we'll go from there. All right, so we have a layout planned right now. We're just trimming a piece of wood and we're gonna paint that piece of wood for now. But we kind of got a layout. We're gonna put all this stuff behind and then the tank is gonna go in front. But, uh, the most important thing to every job is uh, it has to be. So, beer time. There we go, he's cutting that wood. You should be using a skill saw then. Hey, whatever you got, you use. That's a skill there. Low and slow. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is kind of our layout, what we're thinking about doing with the board. We're gonna obviously paint the board. We're gonna mount the board and everything. So we might turn the module sideways for the airlines, but... And then the tank will be the centerpiece, the piece of the resistance. So that's where we're at right now. We're gonna get it all bolted down. We're gonna paint the board or Brian's going to paint the board or whatever. And uh, then we're going to do wiring and we'll probably do lines and then wiring. So, because uh, we have to run the lines. So we're going to end up having to do the struts before we do the, the wiring. Yeah. So we're getting there. So we're almost to the technical part, which is the easy part. So, all right, guys. So I got the board painted and we're just doing our layout here. Let's zoom out a bit. So this is how we're going to lay out the compressor in the tank for it. Right now, we're just uh, making some mounts to get the tank up higher because of the fitting underneath for the drain. And uh, then we're gonna put it back in and start with the struts. All right, guys, so we have it sitting in there. Board is all painted. Let's see, looks nice. Probably put some lighting there at some point he went in the sticker. And then, uh, so now we're going to start doing the struts and the shocks and stuff because I want to see how I want to mount this box on the board back here. I want to put it sideways or this way or whatever. And we have a power bar so we could put in the middle. So it's all going to be nice because it's going to be accessible from back here, which is beautiful. And uh, yeah, so we'll do the wiring last. So we're going to get the struts in the rear shocks and then we're gonna run the airlines. And then that's, we're just wiring with the wiring's pretty straightforward. So yeah, we're just uh, having a beer break and we'll get back at her. No worries, tools are there, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right guys, so we're starting on the front shocks or struts or whatever you wanna call them. Brian's got the tools. Oh yeah. I'm gonna undo the Brian's main nut for the shock. Oh yeah, it's just what you know that's gonna happen. You're gonna have to probably hit it with the gun. Gun, and then we'll have to take off down here. There's two nuts here, right? And we have to support the control arm with the jack because the spring is still in there. The spring is coming out as well. It's going in the trash or wherever Brian wants to throw it. And we have to undo the stabilizer link as well. And then these nice Toyko shocks are gonna come out. And then we can put the new the new strut in so pretty pretty straightforward so we'll get this out and then we'll come back to 
when it's a partner. All right, guys. So we got the old shocks out, and now we're getting the air right in. We have to make some adjustments here. These are adjustable, kind of like coilovers, to meet up with this. And then we're at the top. There's going to be some plates that go over top. This is just temporary for now. So we're going to adjust this so we can get this all connected. And we remove the spring also. That's why that is there. So no spring. And then we just reverse the process, put it back together. Same as changing shocks, no difference. All pretty straightforward. How many Ford guys does it take to put in a strut? <laughs> Let's see. Well, they always have trouble finding the Come hole, on, let's be honest, right? Where's the hole? You think you were a Chevy guy? You got the one. Rotate. I can't see it, so. Counter, clockwise. Rotate, no. clockwise. Other way. Counter, clockwise. Other counter, clockwise. You want clockwise? Other way, other way, other way, other way. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hey! Woohoo! It's always fun when you get it in the hole. It's in, all right. So, anyways, we had to mess around with them a little bit. So, this one is pretty much in. I got my line. Ran. We just gotta tighten the bolts. We gotta do some camber stuff. We're just waiting on that side, and then we'll go to the back. All right. So she's together. You get the airline in. Go around. Everybody's got a job to do here. And this side is done. We have the airline in as well. Now we're heading to the back. Brian's removing the tri shock right now, and then we'll remove the rear shocks and then we'll take the springs out and then we put the other ones in so pretty pretty straightforward all right guys so we have the rear shocks out so this is the shock it has an adjustment on it as well um, this is the rear airbag it's going to go in place of where the spring normally was so we have to assemble and we have to put this plate on top like this and then there's another plate that'll go that's right here that'll go on the bottom so all right we're going to assemble this yeah, and uh whilst the, ryan's under there the taking it apart you bet. so right. i'm going to assemble this stuff and get it ready and then uh, we'll get them in yeah. all right guys so we kind of got distracted a little bit but we have all the old the tri shock out the old shock is around here somewhere. So we got the new stuff in. So there's the bag. Get the light. There's the the shock. They're in on both sides. Now we have to just remove the bump stop so we can get the car all the way up. And then we're going to put the wheels on. And then we're going to show you it's slap and metal. You know what I mean? <laughs> slap, metal slap. And then we can start buttoning up everything that's in the back here. But all in all, it's not a bad process. We still have all the, the wiring to do and the lines to run, but okay, it's part two. still, it'll most likely be another video. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. All right, guys. So we're going to see, we're going to start jacking. Let's see what we get. Look at the gap. We have less gap and we still have less gap. <laughs> and we have more or less gap. That's better. Here. We're getting there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So, that might be all right. It'll have to settle too. Yeah, I think there's that. Oh, you know what it is? The, like the look all right guys. So it still has to settle, but it's pretty good. We'll go around to this side. All right, let's, there's your. We got to roll the the lips as well, so it's pretty pretty decent, pretty decent. All right, guys. So we got the rear together. We just jacked the diff up, and it's pretty close. Pull the light out here. Yeah. Let's see what the light, Brian. Woo! Let's see it with the light. Looking sweet. So, so yeah, like I said, we'll end up doing the wiring and the airlines in another video. Um, it's getting late here. So, but pretty, 
pretty nice little setup. We have to do some adjusting on the fronts to get it lower because it was a bit of a gap. So not too, too bad. All right, guys. So um, the air ride suspension, I'm, this will be the first part of the video. Hopefully within the next week or two, all we'll have the second part of the video with it done. We just have different schedules and Brian, he's a real estate agent. So he he's always working. So we just have to get it to get together and make it happen. So this is just the first part. <clears throat> and hopefully within the next week or so, hopefully by next weekend or whatever, we'll have the rest of the video for you. So stay tuned and yeah, have a good day.